Hello and welcome to the Bell Hops Tabletop. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bell Hop, your cardboard concierge. Normally answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Today the question we are answering is who is going to win in our first game of Arboretum between Deanna and mine. Actually, that's slightly lying. I have played the game before Deanna has not. Uh, we are recording this today as part of Renegade Game Studios Worldwide Play Day, which is something they've done every Wednesday in, uh, what are we, April? April? April. I don't even know what month it is. We are in quarantine time. We yes. don't know what day of the week quarantine it is. Quarantine month. It's quarantine month. It's that month that started. Every Wednesday in April, they've been having one of these worldwide play days where they encourage people worldwide to play the game at the same time. And as part of that, they're tweeting out, sending out, posting on Facebook, jumping into Twitch streams to put worldwide events that are going to affect the gameplay. So we are going to play a game of Arboretum, and we'll be watching to see what those worldwide events are. Plus, it's just a cool excuse to play an awesome game from Renegade Game Studios. So today we are playing Arboretum. It is um, many player, up to four player game, but we will be playing two player. I've already set up the deck, so we've only got six of the different suits in the deck. Um, we will not be doing a teach with this, but you know what? I'll be talking about what we're doing, but I'm not going to start with a teach explaining the game. So now as an added bonus, for those of you joining us live here on Twitch, that's twitch.tv slash tabletopbellhop, for those of you on YouTube, um, we... Everyone who's in the chat room, as long as they speak up, they got to say something. As long as they speak up and say something, which I think that something should be their favorite Renegade game, but whatever you want, you can just say hi. We'll, I'll take your names down, and we're going to give that to Renegade, and someone is going to win a copy of this beauty. This is the deluxe edition of Arboretum. This is the glare edition of Arboretum, which comes in this awesome wooden box, laser cut. It has a nice insert. It's got a baggie to put your cards in so you don't have to bring this whole wooden box and everything. And the cards are foil. So everyone in the chat, make sure you say something so we can get your name down. And we will be ready to go. So I do have to apologize for those of you live. I am going to move the camera now. And that's probably going to be shaky just for a second. And I'm going to guess about here, but I don't know until we start going. How many cards each? Seven each. So, they're going to get the rules anyways, because I'm going to just keep having to ask you. Yeah. I'm going to forget everything. So what I'd like to do, if this. I can, is get the box in still. Where? Can't angle. We may have to back out to see more. Actually, you know what'll work better? Is... Okay. Let's do this instead. Okay. Oh, you can't read that, though, can you? All right, hopefully you'll be able to see. So we got seven cards that. each. But then your bell's not Yeah, then we have the bell. You can't really see Arboretum. So we have seven cards each. The first player is the person who didn't deal. I am going to have to draw two cards. At this point, the only thing that's out on the table is the, um, the draw deck. So I am going to draw two cards. Off the draw deck. Then I have to play one card into my Arboretum, my player area. I am going to start with a two of Cherry Blossoms. So hopefully you can kind of see that, at least in the camera. So I'm going to start with a two of Cherry Blossoms. And then I have to discard a card. I am going to get rid of the six of Cassia. Now I have my own individual discard pile. Now, when Deanna gets to draw two cards at the start of the turn, she has a choice. She can draw from my discard pile or from the deck. Yeah, I can't quite get anything in well, camera. I tried to prop it up a bit. Uh, it didn't, didn't work. work. No. All right. So now we're going to see if I can adjust the brightness on the camera a bit. That should be a little easier for everyone to see. That has to stay right where it is. Does this need to be right here? No, you can go wherever. All right. My go? Circus Puppy. I don't know Circus Puppy. Well, hello. It's yes. the name of a game, yes. Yes, no. Oh, Circus Puppy is the name of a game. I yes. thought it was a, a username. It could be it's a, a username. It's a stacking game. I don't know Circus uh, Puppy myself. That's see. not one I know. So I take one. You take two. You take two all at once? Like, do I take one? No, and you take one it? look and then, yes. Yeah, and then I can decide I instead yes. want that one. There we yep. go. I just want to make sure that's legit. I'm going to play the one of Cherry Blossom. Huh. 
You're going to compete already. Now you have to discard something. I'm going to discard. Try to see if I can. Right about there. Nope, that six is not showing up. It is total glare. Beautiful holographic cards. You cannot see them at home because they are made of pure magic. I do not want that, so I'm going to pay two random. And then I am going to play the three of Cherry Blossoms next to my two. Is there one of each card? Is yes, there... one through eight Okay, of so each there's suit. not like three threes and there or are something six wacky suits. in there? No. Nope. Okay. And then it's my turn to draw. Take some Here, we're probably going to move this goodness. up. You didn't discard. No, not yet. Yep. Hence me drawing. Well, I'm, I'm taking this card because I've seen it, but I have not drawn my second card. I just realized you haven't discarded. Huh. Because I could take from any of the three decks, right? I and then I realized will it discard. Was my third one. I still can't remember the name of this type of tree. Jacaranda. The four of Jacarandas. The four of Jacarandas. That's the one that's on the box. It's pretty in purple. Um. What suits did you pick? Let us know with a picture and our hashtag, and we'll enter you in your draw, in our draw. Oh, because you had to pick which three suits we were playing with? Yes. No, or six suits. Six suits? Well, let's see. I don't know if I have all six suits in my hand, and I don't want to necessarily share that. Nope. Darn it. Yeah, I'm like, I don't have all six suits. I can't, can't do the thing. So close. Well, at the end of this game, we have to tweet it. Oh, wait a minute. I know. No, nope. I got this. It's not like you get something and I don't. It's just enters to win. Oh, it's just enters to win, and we don't even get to enter to win. So we That's what I'm saying. Watch our streams and enter to win. Game starts now. Two global effects. Select a suit at random at the start of the game. Cards that co are considered all colors during scoring. Oh, jeez. Well, well, you want to randomize Just by... take from the bottom of the deck, okay. I guess. Yeah. Ready? So, cherry blossoms are wild. Yeah. All right, I would have played completely different. All right, I guess we had to wait till three to start. So now we know cherry blossoms are wild. Cards of that color are considered ran all colors during scoring. Select a suit at random. All player. Are we supposed to have two different? So we're supposed to select another suit at random. Oh. And we all get to score that suit at the end of the game. Okay. Jeez. And it's also cherry blossoms. No, it's not. Else. It's the purples. Jacandra. Now we so, have to try to remember cherry that. Cherry blossoms are wild. Wow. And we can all score Jacandra. You can write it on the score sheet so we remember. Whether or not we have it in the hand, yeah. we can score Jacandra. Okay. Alright, made some little notes. Alright, I gotta play something. I'm gonna play. <laughs> Wow. I'm gonna play this. Chikendra. Three, two, nine. I don't know. Now I have to discard. I was yes. done, but I lied. Here, let me borrow this. And this. So now I have more than seven cards, and someone will be like, wait, you have more than seven cards. They're so shiny. Well, you should have hidden two, so you only had the right number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here. Fair. All right. That's yours. Yeah, that looks right. Okay. And I still have to discard something. There you go. Hmm. Uh, when you're making your path and you're going one, mm -hmm. two, five, six, can you go like one, two, five, six, six, seven? No, that's always be higher. Okay. Come 
I'm going to go with four or five of cherry blossoms. I'm going to put it up here. <coughs> hmm. And I want to discard five of maple. Has to be adjacent, no jumping all the way yes. up to So, in the example you showed me, we each had... So, what I'm thinking is, like, let's say you had... Um, well, you have three cherry blossoms. Mm -hmm. But you had other cards in between. Are, are, how does that work for scoring? Like, are you scoring... Doesn't matter. Right now, I would score two to five. And it doesn't matter that points. in between is a cherry blossom if, and not a maple tree? If you're all four, if you have at least four, and mm -hmm. they're all the same color, you get double points. At least four. Yes, okay. so if I'm able to get one more cherry blossom here, I would get eight points instead of four. But it's irrelevant how many other cards are in there. Cause it's what? At least four cherry blossoms. And you could have two other cards, no. three other cards, no. four other cards. No other cards. No other All cards. All cherry blossoms. Only cherry blossoms. Yes. Gotcha. There you go. Good turn. Okay. You know what? I'll take that. I'll discard that. And then I'll play this here. So I played the three of dogwood. The three of dogwood. And discarded a jacaranda. Three of jacaranda. Okay, I'm going to pick up that three of jacaranda and I'm going to pick up one mystery card. I'm going to play that three of jacaranda. Right there. I have no clue if that's actually how you pronounce that tree. Thing. I don't know. That's what it looks it. like. It's like it says Jacaranda. I don't know. Everyone's scoring Jacaranda, right? Yeah, you wrote it down, but yes, I believe so. Is there any limit to how wide or tall? No. Just go whatever direction you want? Yeah. Okay. Which we might need to move some stuff and probably zoom out a bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just dropped a card. Shoot. Did I discard? No, I haven't. Oh, I don't want to discard anything. Alright, put that down. Two of dogwood. Mm -hmm. this is a... And then you're not going to score it unless it's in your hand, too. Right. A messy game. Event on your next turn, you may select cards from anywhere within the discard pile. <laughs> mm. Our discard piles are one card each. Yeah. That didn't help. Nope. I'm just, I made room. Yeah. A little more room. One. And two. Okay, I'm going to ask again to make sure I'm getting this right. So if I put a four, five, and six of cherry blossom here, and, and then I had four cherry blossom cards, but the two and three were in between, I wouldn't get the bonus points. Correct. Okay. On top, on your side. On yeah. my side, not on your side. Yes. I'm like, I'm doing something wrong. Something's not right here. I'll take. And we're going to put that there. 
and discard that there. So I played a one of blue spruce and discarded one of cassia. Or I seven of cassia. I screwed up and discarded over there earlier, but I don't think it's really going to make a huge difference. Uh, Especially not if I picked it up. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so now I pick up one card, two cards. Let's keep all three forward. <laughs> Just it's so close to being in the picture. There we go. We go till this deck's yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Four of blue spruce. Discard the two of blue spruce. When there are no more cards in the draw pile. The player who drew the last card finishes their turn normally, but then the other player does not get to go. I doubt people can see the numbers on our cards, so it's probably, probably not. <laughs> not the best team to stream. We need two top-down cameras that show well, above you Well, the shininess would be... Uh... No, the shininess has been fine. This card's a little out of... But you can kind of see what no, it is. Not as bad as I thought it was. No, well, it's on the laptop, so it's hard to tell, but it looks pretty good to me. And what was the special thing with the cherry blossoms? Oh, they're wild. The wild. Cards. That's yes. right, yeah. It's an eight. An eight of dogwood, I think. Yes. Which I took. Wow, okay. I don't want to play. Five of blue spruce. And discard. <laughs> what the heck do I want to discard? A three of blue spruce. Global event, you may move one card in your Arboretum to a new location at the end of the game. Oh, jeez. Hmm. I have to remember that. All right. <laughs> more things to remember. Yeah, that's hard to take I care of instance. One. I take two. Okay. Let's see. I'll go Six Here's cherry blossom right here. And then keep having to move it back to try to catch everything. So now we know for game two if we play a second game, which we probably will. Hmm. Discard this poor Cassia. Okay.
We are going to play a 6 Bruce Spruce and discard a 4 Minkle. Maybe the game we got. Oh, we're losing part of mine. I'm gonna take that oh. time with us. I need to smoosh these in closer. I spread out too much. Um, we're gonna give up on the box soon. Yep. So let's see. I'm gonna play this seven with Jerry Blossom. And then I'm going to discard this. I, I am going to get rid of this and slide over a bit. Good, because it's kind of annoying when I can't see what you're doing. Time we can play the seven. Blue spruce. And discard the five Cassia. You're off the camera at that end. If you could slide this way a bit. If we play a second game, it'll be much better in focus. Maybe. No guarantee. <laughs> at least on the screen. All right, how's that? I'm good now? Yep, you're good for now. And now <laughs> I get to draw things. Get the uh, score track in here, but... Deck's getting low. And more mystery. Well, not mystery, sorry. I was going to say. And then I'm going to play that. And I'm going to. That thing where, is it just discount your highest card or specifically an 8 if eight. you have the one in your hand? Okay. 8 becomes 0. You went off of me. I'm wacky. I can't help myself. We're not talking. Yep, talk you're right. Before. Sorry, I'm gonna play that dogwood right there. No, I wasn't playing. No, I was discarding. You're discarding. Oh, I'm shit. like, you just played you way go, over there. That dogwood. I'm like, I can't play twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I caught it right away. I will pick up that dogwood and a random. Oh, it's so close. I am going to play the one of dogwood right there. And then I, I am going to discard the one of Cassius. Mm -hmm. Or Cassia. There. Cassia. Oh, it's a token troll. Alright, fine. Let's try it again. I'll put the five Cassia right there. And I will discard. Let's 
Oops, not the card. Oh, I didn't pick up cards. See, I'm fucking up. Stop. Here we go. I'll grab the last one. And that. And then I am going to play an eight of dogwood here. Then I have to discard, though I don't think it matters. Um. Seven of Jacandria. Then that's it. So we can rearrange one. Um, let me think. I don't see any reason to rearrange anything. Move this here. That's it. So now we need to super zoom in from this angle. Then <laughs> people could see scoring. All right, let's see what happens with the score. You're not moving anything. I'm not moving anything. All right, hold on. I want to get a picture of my final. It's, it's as bad arboretum. as it's going to be. So well, you're better at the math. <laughs> so what's the top one? Uh, For, I've made sure to blue use spruce. So blue spruce. Blue spruce in your hand. I have an eight. I have no blue spruce. So I get to score blue so spruce. You get to score blue spruce. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. One through seven. Okay. So it's seven points plus one because I started with the one. So eight points in blue spruce for Molly, and zero for me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what you're doing here is you're starting a path at your lowest in the in the suit, going to your highest in the suit. You get one point per card. Plus one point if you start at the one. Plus two points if you end at the eight. But the only people who get to score is whoever has the most of the card in their hand. So I should have played the eight and kept like a five. But I assume D had something in there. So that's it for Blue Spruce. What's right. next? Cassia. Cassia. I have three. I have ten. So you get to score your Cassia. But so I'll start at this wild card cherry blossom. Yeah. And I'll go one, two, three, four, five. Yep. So five points, and I started at a one, yep. so six. Next. Next is cherry blossoms. I have the eight. You have the eight. I have a four. So I score cherry blossoms. I'm just going two, three, four, five for four points. Okay, so you get four points. I get zero. Next, we have dogwood. Dogwood. I have the five. I have six. Ah, look at how much dogwood so I have. you are not scoring I have one dogwood. through eight. And I am also not scoring dogwood, but... But now you stopped me from scoring, stopped dog. from scoring dogwood. You know what? I was trying cool. to remember what was played. Uh, Jacaranda. Jacaranda? There's no way. 14. You don't get to score that. It doesn't that. matter. We're both scoring it. We all oh, score. That's why I don't I have forgot. any in my hand. See, I didn't play a single one. So, Oh, well, that was dumb. Right. So, I forgot the global event. I got screwed by a global I'm gonna event. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 because of the wild. Yep. I got screwed. Uh, but that would be worth 7 plus 1. Yes. Is 8. Or I could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and only use... Those that would get you for 10. Bonus points of only 11. using them. You would get that would be worth more. Yeah. yeah. You're going to win because of that. Because I forgot the Jacaranda. Everyone scores. Yeah. I didn't even put one in play. All right. How about Maple? Uh, I have the one. Well, I've got <laughs> a bunch. Yeah. I have 18, and I don't have the eight. Um, so, again, I'm going to start at the wild, and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. And I have the 1 and the 8, so wow. that's 10. Yep, you kicked my butt, mainly because I and forgot about the global. we're not playing with that's it. Oak or yeah. Royal Pension, or Tulip Poplar, or Willow. Okay. 
I forgot about Chikandria, everyone's chorus, or whatever that card, that tree so, is called. I had 27 and you had 12. Yep. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible first show for me. Only because of the, I was paying attention to the board. Well, yeah, that would have made a big it. difference. So was I in a way, but I totally forgot. Yeah. Yes, they do have fantastic art. Really nice art. Zorba the Greek. Look at that. Super pretty. Look at that glare. <laughs> A nice aesthetic. And this is the deluxe edition with the nice foil cards. Which I don't know how much of a bonus that is. Looks neat in my Twitter pictures. I'm not sure how I feel about the foil cards. I, I love actually, the box. Yes, the box is beautiful. I love the, the little velvety sack to take yeah, it. Yeah, like hollow foil. The art is as matte, but like the backgrounds are uh, metallic. So there we go. This was uh, Worldwide Play Day, sponsored by Renegade Games. The game of the day today was Arboretum. Both myself and my wife Deanna played through. What do you think? That was your first time playing Arboretum I ever. I it. I want to play it again. I'm not sure how I feel about the foil cards. I think the reflection just annoyed me. I might actually prefer the Prefer the original? We do have version. the original edition. So Though the wooden box is so The wooden box cool. is nice. So you're, you're going to just like, you get this edition and you put your old cards in it and then like put these on display somewhere. I don't know. So it's I'm a very, not sure how I feel about the foil cards. A rather heavy, thinky card game. Even with two players. Plays great at two players. Plays just as good with four. Um, not many card games have that much brain burn involved with trying to think of how to lay out your patterns and who's going to score them and trying to card count six different suits is pretty much impossible. I'm going to tell you my AP with four players would be terrible <laughs> because to... I'd be, oh, you know, trying to keep yeah. track of all that would be a mess. So that's it for tonight. Uh, thank you for joining us at the Bellhops Tabletop. I am Mo Tuzino, the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find us on the web at tabletopbellhop.com, where normally we answer your gaming and game night questions. Consider us a dear Abby for gamers. If you've got a gaming or game, game night related question, send it to questions at tabletopbellhop.com. That's how email addresses work, right? See, my brain's burnt out from Arboretum. I don't even know what's going on. If you dig this video, make sure you hit the, the like, follow, subscribe, thumbs up, all those fun things that you can do to tell content creators like us that you appreciate what we're doing. And one other way you can do that is head over to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and please consider tipping your bellhop. For the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, I am Mo Tuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop. I'm Deanna. Good night and game on. <laughs>